So it's time for the clutch nine egg cutting. So here's dad. Uh, what I know for sure on him is he's a pastel in either yellow belly or specter, pet for ghosts. This is my mystery clutch. This is a pairing I've been trying to figure out what her other gene is, but this is my pastel ghost and some other gene. This is actually her son from her second year of breeding. So pairing them together to see if I get anything weird, hoping for a super form of whatever her other gene is to try to figure it out. So let's get to the egg cutting. Okay, so here we go. We have seven eggs. Would have been ten, but had those three that got stuck. This one had a little bit of mold, so had to put some foot powder on it. <laughs> Wipe that off more. Tough actin' to act. Hmm? Tough actin' to act. Don't it's, follow. It, yeah. This is what we got. We got... I don't know, I can't tell. It's going to be hard for me to tell a lot of these since there's some just very similar genes with the pastel. Also have ghost in the mix. And uh, it's either going to be yellow belly or specter from the dad. If I can get some super pastels in here, that'd be cool. Let's see. Another cool looking one. Kind of faded, kind of like a ghost. Kind of like that person might be ghost too. Sweet, if I you need to calm down. <laughs> Jason flies. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. I think you're partially upset. Oh, yeah, you're partially upset. And I was like, why is there white right there? Yeah, Bunch I was about belly. to say. <laughs> like, well, I'm not supposed to be getting piebald in here. <laughs> <laughs> It's just an upside down snake. So, egg doesn't want to sit like I'll have it. Let's see what we get right here. Ooh, that one's super fast. I'll see the head. Mm-hmm. light colored snake. I think it'll be easier to tell which might be ghosts once they come out. Yeah, once they're out of their egg, yeah. Yeah, because right now they all look kind of faded. That one especially, though. That one looks cool. One more egg. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Oh, it started moving. <laughs> so here we go. I'll do an update once these come out. So here's the first one from this confusing clutch here. Because I know the mom's a pastel ghost and then dad is a pastel either yellow belly or specter. You know, het for ghost. But there's another mystery gene, and I can't figure it out. So here's first. Hey, look at the teddy bear. Hmm? Where? Right there. It's a teddy bear. They won't be able to see it where? Right on the side. Right there. It's a teddy bear. Oh, that's a teddy bear right there. <laughs> okay, got you. I didn't know where to look. <laughs> Sorry. They have really cool patternings. One of them has a three on it. I don't think it's this one. Anyways, but here's first. And I know this one's at least pastel. I don't know if it's ghost. And I'm not sure if it has the mystery gene. Well, it definitely has something. It's either ghost or the mystery gene. Where's the next? I'm trying to find all the pastel ones. Here's another pastel one. This one's got a really funky, crazy pattern, though. Center. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you this one, though. You're looking for the one that has the three on it? No, it no. It has an X right there. Oh, no, no, maybe it wasn't an X. Okay. Yeah, and they all have like really weird patterning, so. It's cool looking. But if anybody knows what they think the other mystery gene could be <clears throat> is, uh, here's the other pastel one. Got a 
going crazy. Okay, here's this one. This is the one with the three. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah. There. <laughs> Glare. Yeah. Anyway, so here's this one. This one's pattern's a little bit more normal. Not as whacked out. Okay, this is one of the super pastel ones. Love the fade thing. that it has. Yeah, it's really faded. That's why I said this one's at least super pastel. I don't know if it's yeah. ghost or it's just the mystery gene. Yeah, down that spine, how it just, just goes. and. That one's then... got three on it, too. Oh, goodness. Got the, the threes here going. Where are you going? You come here. No, no, no. Get back in there. Okay, here's the next one that's a super pastel form. Set these over here. That way I can... This one doesn't have as much blushing on the body as the last one, but it's got these weird, funky, squiggly line on its back. There's this one. Mm -hmm. And here's another one of the ones that's at least super pastel. This one's got more of the blushing on the back. This one's a little more faded. I wonder if this one definitely has ghost. Of course, any of these could have the yellow belly or specter from the dad, too. Yeah. That could be part of what's another gene in here, too. There, that one looks really cool. Okay, and off to the final one. This is the most faded one of them all. Another super pastel combo. It's like literally missing color on parts of its back. <laughs> but maybe we'll be able to tell more it's once they shed. So. Eight on it, by the way. That one's got an eight. <laughs> we got three, three, and eight. <laughs> Anyways, I will do another update after they shed, see if we could tell more. Okay, so the mystery clutch is all shed, so we're going to get them weighed, gendered, and put up. This is the first one I decided to go with. There's no normals, like, in this clutch whatsoever. Yeah, and I'm not 100% sure what I have. I can tell some are mm. super pastel and some are pastel. That's the most normal of them looking. Yeah, some yeah. of them, I'm almost wondering if it's trick. Some of them have some really tricky looking patterns. And of course, some of these are going to be either yellow belly or specter from the grandpa being a super stripe on the dad's side. Oh, yeah, this is Klinko's, isn't it? The, no? the grandpa. He's the grandpa. Oh, grandpa. Okay, gotcha. His son. That one's a girl. Ooh. If I can get her to calm down. Goodness. 70 grams. Oh, and of course, they could also be ghost as well. Oh, yeah, 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 true. I believe this one has super pastel. I'm going to have to look over them all individually, but, like, the weird patterning on the back is on a few of them. Oh, let me get the gender first. <laughs> let me get the weights, apparently. Can't wait for the weight. Another girl. So, 64 grams on this one. Oh, this is the one with the three on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely at least pastel. I think this one's at least a pastel ghost. Okay, buddy. I don't think he's got Oh, it. goodness gracious. I'm saying buddy like it's a boy. I don't know what Watch it, it be a bale. That's going to be funny. No, it's a girl. There we go. You sit there. It's 69 grams. This one's really Goodness interesting gracious, looking. Because I don't think this one's super pastel, but it's extra faded. But it might be super pastel. It's got just a really wacky pattern now. Let's see if this is a boy or a girl. This one's a boy. There we go. Got this boy here. Weighs 65 grams. No, don't run away, buddy. There he is. He's running away. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these last three, I'm pretty sure, are definitely at least super pastel. They're really faded. I wonder if they're super pastel ghosts as well. 
There we go. Just really cool patterning. Like almost white yeah. in places on the back. Let's see what you are. That one's a boy. 72 grams. Okay. Here's this one. What are the patterns fading mm -hmm. back here? So if y'all have any input on what y'all think the extra gene could be here, I would love some advice here. This girl here weighs 72 grams. Okay, and on to the last one. I think it's one of the most faded ones of all. I think this one's definitely yellow belly. Oh yeah. Uh, Specter. It's got that belly right there like one. <laughs> Don't know which one it is because I haven't proven the, which one the dad has. That one's a boy. Where are you going, buddy? This one's 70 grams. Uh, uh, 71. 71. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's, <laughs> that's the sponge. Just let me know what y'all think what some of the genes could be. So let me know what y'all think of those babies. If you can, can you please comment which one is your favorite in the comments? Uh, also, make sure you check out Morph Market if you're interested in getting one of my babies. They are going fast. I only have a few up there at the moment, but I'll be adding more really soon. I have the same three expos still. The Herp Show, that's going to be in uh, Oklahoma on uh, July 31st and August 1st. Then the next one will be the Jackson Exotic Pet Expo in Jackson, Tennessee on August 21st and 22nd, and then the Arkansas show in Jacksonville on November 6th, possibly the 7th I've been hearing. So thanks for watching.